Hey there, this is a short video to walk through how to um, filter census data that you've gotten from, in this case, um, NHGIS website and create a calculated rate um, from those variables. So we're looking at data here from 1970. This is on um, home ownership and, and rental, um, commonly referred to as tenure. If I open up the uh, code book, here I can see I've got four different variables, um, one that's owned, one that's cooperatively owned, um, rentals um, with and without cash rent as well. So um, those are the four variables that are listed here. The first thing we want to do is uh, we want to filter these data. So we're only interested in Clark County, Georgia. So there is a tool um, in Excel called Filter. You go ahead and click on that and we're going to start off by choosing Georgia as our state. So when I do filter, I get these drop down boxes that allow me to do um, various kinds of filtering um, with these data. So here I've got a list of all the states that are listed in the state column. I don't want any of them. So I'm going to unclick this and click on Georgia. Click OK. Now I've just got Georgia. Now I just want Clark County. So here's a list of all the counties in Georgia. I unclick them all and then choose Clark and click OK. And now I just have these few counties. Now um, it's a little tricky. The, those rows still exist. They're just hidden right now. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to hit Control C like this, or I could right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to actually hit Control N and create a new spreadsheet where I'm going to save these data separately. Um, so I could save these to my computer if I wanted to. And that way I know I've only got just these rows. OK, so now I've got just the, uh, the census tracts that I'm interested in working with. Um, now I want to compute a rate. And so I know from looking at my variables, if I want to know ownership, it's, it's just this column. Um, we're not going to worry about the ones that are cooperatively owned. We're talking about a single family owner in this case. So just this column is the one I care about, but I also don't have a total households uh, column, a variable. So I want to add these four together to get my total. A rate would be the, the number of uh, owner-occupied um, homes as a rate or as a percentage of the total number of households. So to do that, I'm going to create an own percent or own rate variable. And then I'm going to create a formula in Excel. And I do that starting with an equal sign that says there's a function. I'm going to do a sum, um, which is a little optional, but I, I still do it. 23, so this cell P2, and you see that listed here, divided by, and then I'm going to um, do these four added together, two, three, four. If it enter, um, Excel will auto-complete the formula for me. Okay, so that's a rate. It's out of 0 to 1. I'm not crazy about that. Let's multiply it times 100. So we get um, a 0 to 100 scale. So 18% of these households are occupied by owners. I could type that formula lots of times. I could copy and paste it lots of times. Or I can just double click on this little square right here. And it will fill in the rest of those with the same respective formulas. You can see how they change over time. When you're done, you can save that and move on to the next step, which will be joining data um, for the lab that this, this video is associated with.